Hey guys, just wanted to quickly go over a few things that I think are most important to prove and reveal about yourself during a hiring process. So if you're just getting your career started and you're hunting down jobs, you're setting up interviews and you're trying to you know, get that first kind of big opportunity as you start your professional life, here are three things that I think are most important to keep in mind. Uh, the first one is excitement and interest in the actual company and what they're doing. Uh, people want to work and they want to hire other people that are excited about the mission of the company, are excited about coming to work every day and doing their job to the best of their ability to advance the company and put it in the best position for success. Actually, I would say the best employees, they, they focus on what can I do to make this company better in advance as opposed to what can this company do for me that makes my life better. If you see that your self-interest is tied to the company's growth and their, the company's interest, then that's going to take you far. So doing everything from researching the company, researching the founders, researching the people that you're going to be communicating with and interviewing with during the hiring process. And then as you go through the process, gradually making sure that you're really intentional about learning more and more about what the company does. What are the products and services? What's valuable about them to their potential customers? Who are their potential customers? Um, you know, why, why is everyone here working for this specific company? Um, and really having that mindset of figuring it out, having that curiosity, and then expressing excitement, and being genuine about that is going to go a long way. That's kind of the first thing you need to prove. Second one is proving that you have a track record of mastery at something. So especially if you're just starting your career, 99% chance you're not going to have the exact skill set that you need to have in order to be extremely successful on day one in this new role. And that's okay, no one's expecting you to, but what they do want is someone that has the ability to learn new things quickly and independently and get ramped up, onboarded, you know, quicker than the average candidate would uh, so that you can start contributing in your role. And the number one signal of that that I look for when I'm hiring and what a lot of our practice business partners look for is have you learned things quickly and independently in your past to reach a certain level of mastery? So the athlete who, you know, put in all the hard work and dedication and commitment needed to get to a, you know, a high level of performance in whatever sport they were playing, that's going to be a big sign. And and that's a true across the board. You don't need to be an athlete. If you were super into computers and you know maybe at a young age you, you got really interested and you started building your own computers or maybe you're just really interested in video games and you know you you mastered those video games quicker than all of your friends and you know you were kind of intentional about skill development in any of these areas where it was kind it was more voluntary. You were following a a genuine interest or passion of yours to be able to prove that is going to be huge. And you can do that, you know, through the interview, sharing anecdotes about your experience there, or you can do it by building a body of work online, you know, writing a few blog posts about those past experiences and then sharing and sharing them at the right times. That's going to be huge, but show off that you have the ability to learn new skills and develop a certain level of mastery. That's, that's super valuable. And the last thing is actually having, um, the the raw potential to do well in the specific role. So you've already proved that you have an interest and you're excited about what the company does, about the culture there, the people involved. You've shown that you have the ability in general to learn new things and develop a certain level of mastery. The final thing you need to do is just show enough of the basic skills needed for this role that shows someone, okay, this person clearly has the potential 
to do X, Y, and Z that are needed for this role. And the first thing you need to know, know there is actually understand what skills are needed in the role. And sometimes a simple job description isn't going to give you enough information. You need to kind of take a deeper dive into what's, you know, what this role is really doing and what's most important there, and then figure out a way to show that off. So if I'm, if I'm interviewing for a sales role and, you know, I'm just going through a pretty basic interview process, submitting resumes, interviewing, et cetera, I might be able to show a little bit of that off when I'm, you know, in an interview setting, how I converse with that person, how I communicate, what's valuable about me as a product. Um, but I would go well above and beyond that. Actually, like record a two to five minute video discussing the, you know, the features of the product or services of the company, just as if you were talking to a potential customer, show them what you would be like in the day to day role. Uh, the next level of that would be actually going out and selling the company, go get them one or two new customers or users or whatever it is. Um, that would kind of be a next level thing, but always tying what you're trying to communicate during an interview process, during that hiring process to what it would be like to work with me on a day-to-day -day basis if you were to hire me for this role.